Hey guys, happy Thursday. It is Thursday, um, October 15th, 2009. And, um, I'm sitting outside because it's not pouring right now. It poured like hell yesterday. And I think it's supposed to rain again today, but so far, so good. Um, holy crap. I had to sit all day in class in wet pants and like squishy wet shoes. It was foul. And I complained a lot, which was kind of unfortunate. Anyway, I'm happy to be able to be sitting outside right now. Um, this week we're talking about how Sunday, I think Sunday, was National Coming Out Day. I've never actually come out on Coming Out Day, so that's kind of cool. Um, maybe someday I will plan it on a certain day. But something that JT said actually really resonated, which is coming out is like a totally continuous process um, and depends on the situation, who you're hanging out with, and then your own identity shifts. And for me, it's something that's definitely changed over time and happened in various ways and coming out about different aspects of my gender, my sex, and my orientation, um, which has been interesting. So continuous process uh, is one thing. I'm looking at my notes because I'm a little cracked out. I um, had to write a paper for my theory class, and it was intense, and I hadn't written like a research theory-driven academic intense paper in a really long time. So my brain's a little bit fried. Okay. Um, oh, all right. So I feel like I have to come out a lot as genderqueer um, when I introduce myself to people or even more than that when I, if I take the next step to request proper pronoun usage, um, like it's cool. That was coming out, um, which my classmate did first, which was really cool. Um, but when I had to explain to a room full of people that my name is Sam, I prefer male pronouns, this is why, that was coming out. Um, or just like really briefly to people when I meet them and if I want them to use the right pronoun, I, I guess I haven't really done that as a like, hey, nice to meet you, by the way thing, but after hanging out for a chunk of time, perhaps this would be applicable. Um, and when I talk about the pronoun thing, they would want to know why, and I would explain. Um, so that's coming out. Um, though now, with my... Whoa, hello, son. Um, with my changing orientation shifting sexual identity, um, I don't really know anymore. I, I've been coming out to a lot of my friends, as in, they'll be like, hey, I haven't seen you in a while, you've been at school all the time, what's going on? And so, you know, with good friends, I'm like, well, A, school is intense, and it's great, but it's intense and time-consuming, and that's been taking up my life, and the other part of my life is I've been having this giant giant um identity shifting going on um and so then I explained to them what that means um the videos I made on my personal channel the ones about how I okay still identify as genderqueer don't think that'll change but no longer can handle this female body thing so thinking a lot more about trans things and wanting to have a male baseline for my gender queer identity and how I don't really want to date female identified people anymore. So I explained that to people and that's coming out. I don't really know what I'm coming out as because I haven't quite figured it out, but I'd say I'm coming out as trans. Um, I'm also like kind of backwards coming out, which I don't like how that sounds um, because it, it doesn't feel like a step back in terms of orientation it feels it's definitely not going back to where I was before I came out as queer um but it's moving forward to a different different place so um that it feels like a, a coming out when I explain hey not feeling this dyke identity anymore
and talking about that to people. Um, but one of the things Dylan was talking about was looking queer and people identifying you that way. And I've always liked that. I feel comfortable presenting in this way and I feel comfortable being read as queer. What I'm not so comfortable with is being read as a queer female. Um, and so that's where all the trans stuff comes in. But I've always liked being pretty easily identifiable as um, a queer person. So in many ways, I don't have to come out. The interesting thing is people assuming that I am queer in a certain way. Um, mainly that I identify as a lesbian. And um, so then it would be a coming out process to correct, ew, bug, um, to correct that assumption. Uh, but in general, just being identified as queer happens naturally um, due to my uh, appearance, and I'm okay with that. Um, okay. So I think that's all I have to say. Wow, it's only 6.22. I usually take the entire time, as you all know. Um, yeah, coming out as a continuous process, depending on identity shifts, is definitely the story of my life. Um, and I don't see it as a chore. I don't see it as something bad. I see it as something that's really good and means that I have a comfortable relationship with whoever I'm talking to. And it means that I'm being truthful and honest with myself. So coming up is good. Okay, um, I'm going to go and shower and get dressed and go to class. Joy. Um, I hope that everybody is doing great. And um, I hope, JT, your arm feels better. God, that looked painful. Um, and tingly sounds not so healthy. So I hope that your arm gets better soon. Uh, Dylan, I hope that school, um, is slowly becoming more of a handleable process. And, yeah, hope everybody else is doing awesome. And I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye.